Hi, I'm Stavros. Good afternoon and welcome. And it's time for an update on my 2013 Honda Civic Diesel. Now, I've owned this car for about a year and a half now. I bought it in May of 2017 and uh, I'm going for my NCT today. So the national car test has to be done on this car in an hour and a half. So it's just gone 4 p.m. I'm booked in for half five. So I got to be quick with this video. So it's just an update to let you know some of the problems that I've had with the car, uh, one of which is still ongoing and it's a smelly problem. And I'll go down through the infotainment screen. I had a problem with that as well that I actually managed to fix myself. Yeah, stick around for that because some of you guys with 2013 Honda Civics, if you're having the same problem with the infotainment screen, stick around because this video could save you hundreds. Okay, now let's, let's walk around guys and talk about this Civic. So before I go through all the problems, I just want to tell you guys about the good points about owning this 2013 Honda Civic diesel. Now it is very cheap to tax, it's only 190 euro, so compared to most cars that is very good. Now I am easily getting between 50 and 55 miles per gallon from this 2.2 litre diesel, so that is quite good. Certainly a lot better than the Honda Civic Type R I owned before this. Uh, that car was just like a money pit with insurance and tax, but uh, this is quite good. And I always like the big boot in the Honda Civic, uh, a lot bigger than a Golf Mark 7. And uh, you can lift up the floor there and put in your space saver spare wheel. Now, I did have to get that myself. It did not come with the car. And I just have a towel underneath there because there is no anchor point to hold in that spare wheel. So um, that's what I do. And that is a false floor, as you could see. It does drop if you're not holding a spare wheel for even more space. And of course, you can fold down the back seats. So yeah, uh, good boot on the Civic. I do like that. And uh, I talked about this before as well, the magic seats. You can fold them up. And uh, yeah, you can literally walk straight through the car. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very handy and good space underneath them. Now, of course, the Civic that followed this one, uh, they've done away with these magic seats, so there is a, you can't lift up those seats anymore. So while I'm in the back here, I'm going to talk about the first problem I caused myself on the car. Now I had a two litre bottle of milk, I had it turned on its side and I had my jacket over it over Christmas. I uh, forgot about it completely and it went all sour and seeped out of the cap and destroyed my back seat. So uh, you can actually still see the uh, stain there all around the back. So my car is smelling like a cheese factory at the moment. But uh, now I did get it validated um, and they've done their best to get the smell away from it. But uh, they did say that the smell would come back, that it might have to go in for a second go. And it has come back, so it does have to go in for a second uh, going. But I don't know, is this true, guys? You can tell me in the comments, but uh, somebody said to put bread soda all around the seat and all around the carpet because it, it not only seeped through the seat, uh, but all along the carpet and even underneath the carpet, so... Oh man, it's disgusting. But anyway, um, hopefully the NCT won't be too mad when they hop in the car and get that smell. Um, oh yeah, while we're out here as well, I'll talk about the brakes. Now, would you believe that this is the third Civic that I have owned with sticking brakes? Uh, I don't know what it is with me and Civics, but the brakes are always sticking. I don't know why, but... There you go, this is the third one with the issue. But uh, yeah, I did get uh, new discs and calipers and the pads are new as well. So um, the issue is uh, rectified, thank God. But anyway, um, uh, sometimes the handbrake, when you release the handbrake, it can be a bit slow to release, but uh, it's not a big problem. But anyway, the seating position, I talked about this before. It would be nice to get that a bit lower. You can get it lower on the newer Civic. But uh, this one, I just always had an issue with it, uh, not being able to get the seat low enough. Now I'm going to talk about the other problem I had. If I zoom into the infotainment screen there and turn it on, now uh, you will see as well, i just turn off the fan there. Um, let me just start it up actually, I'll start up the car. There we are. Just wait for the seat belt to go away and we can get some information up here. Now you will see, you see the temperature there and the uh, odometer reading. So this car has covered 93,000 kilometers. So I bought it when it was around 80,000. But uh, that temperature there and the mileage, okay? 
Um, I hopped into the car one day and they were gone from the screen. So uh, I couldn't even get my temperature or, or uh, mileage up on the screen. Now that is an automatic fail on the NCT. So you can't even, don't even bother going in if you can't read your mileage on your car because they will fail it. So, um, so what did I do to actually rectify this guys? What did I do to actually get that up and running again? And I'll show you exactly what I done, which is very, very easy to do. I just pulled the, uh, the release there for the bonnet. And yeah, uh, a very good guy up in Honda in Dublin told me to do this and it fixed the problem. All you need to do is disconnect your negative from the battery for five minutes. Disconnect your negative from the battery for five minutes and your screen will be up and running again. So uh, yeah, I, guys it was such a relief when I got this screen up and running again. You wouldn't believe uh, the relief on my face. Oh guys, let's hop in again. So when I phoned up Honda and told them about this screen and the temperature and the mileage not working, he gave me two different scenarios. He said to press the I button on the steering wheel for 10 seconds and to go back to the factory default settings so that didn't work, but the second option he gave me was to disconnect the negative and leave it for five, 10 minutes. And uh, there you go. I got my temperature and mileage up again. But the reason why this happened, guys, and you gotta be careful with this Civic. I'm just gonna knock off the engine, okay? If you are talking to somebody on your phone and you're using the Bluetooth in the car and you knock off the engine, and if you're still talking to them on the phone, and I think I caused this problem myself, where I was talking to somebody on the phone for probably more than a half an hour with the engine off and using all the speakers on the Bluetooth on the phone and it draws from the battery and then I was told that the battery goes into battery save mode where it starts shutting down things on the car to try and hold as much power in the battery so as when you come back to start it, it will start up. It just has some sort of battery save mode. I never heard of it before. But anyway, that's what happened to me and I think I caused it myself um, so hopped in one day and yeah, but do you want to know how much that screen costs? Anyone want to hazard a guess? That screen is 900 euro plus VAT for that screen. <laughs> You'd buy a, a big HD television for that money. But my heart nearly dropped when he told me the price of that screen because, um, you know, the car was coming up for an NCT and it would fail if I didn't get that fixed. So thank goodness I got it fixed myself, guys. Uh, that would have been just a massive bill. But yeah, that issue with the milk, uh, the brakes, and then that, uh, they all happened within, I don't know, a couple of weeks of each other. Of each other and uh, I don't know. L l guys, look, let's go into town, do the NCT. Hopefully it'll pass. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll call it a day then, okay? Now I have just checked the seat belts just to make sure that they're working. And uh, I just closed them all in there because my brother did fail before because uh, there was a stone inside in his seatbelt and the buckle wouldn't close properly and he ended up failing the NCT over it. So always just check them. Now they do give you a checklist as well of all the stuff to go down through. Some of it is pretty obvious. Uh, your car has adequate oil and water. Well, hopefully <laughs> if you don't go in, you're gonna blow up before you uh, arrive. If you don't go in with oil and water, uh, the boot is empty of all belongings. The engine is in a fit state to be tested. Cam belts working all that and your headlights are properly adjusted. Uh, please also ensure to bring your driver's license. I have that. I have my confirmation letter and I have my registration certificate. And yeah, I think we are pretty much ready to hit the road and see will it pass. I decided to pull in for a nice fresh coffee. So hopefully the smell of nice coffee might mask the smell in here a bit. Oh man, it is bad. And we have arrived at the NCT. So let's go in to the reception and get all sorted out and cross our fingers that this Civic will pass. 
Okay guys, it's in there at the moment, getting tested. Why do I always get nervous any time I bring my car in for an NCT? Yeah, it's just that uncertainty. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, do you want to hear the, uh, the good news? The good news, yes. Yes, we passed. Oh guys, ah. yes, it's always a great feeling when you pass the NCT. Can you see it there? That is a pass. So yeah, we are okay now until 2021. Yeah, January 2021. Yes, so uh, yeah, nothing more to worry about for another two years. Great. So some of you might have been thinking, was I thinking of getting rid of this car, selling it this year, but no, it's not going to happen this year. Uh, the car is going very well at the moment, so I'm going to hold on to it until at least next year, 2020, and we'll see what happens then. I'm still here at the NCT. The bleeding car failed. The car... Don't be lying. <laughs> it failed. <Don't> be lying. <laughs> no, no, it passed. It passed. Of course it passed. I never see anything belong to you fail. So yeah, we are good to go guys. I'm delighted. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video Just an update on some of the issues that I've had with the car, but um, I mean the handbrake seems to be working fine according to what I see on the report there, so um, I don't know maybe it's just my imagination, but Yes, that's it guys. I'm going to head off home. Yeah, what time is it now? Six o'clock It only took them about 20 minutes to test the car. So yeah, it's pretty quiet there today. It's a Sunday Sunday evening now, so yeah, all's quiet. Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out the video I done from Autosport 2019. Loads of footage in that video, it's 44 minutes long, it's a very long video for me anyway, up on YouTube, so be sure and check that out. And also next week, what will I be doing? This weekend, guys, I'm driving another brand new truck. Find out what that is coming up Sunday, guys. I'll leave you there, thanks for watching, and I'm delighted, guys. Take care, cheers! Okay guys, I'm gonna give the uh, baking soda a go there, so I'm gonna pour it all over the seat, and uh, hopefully this might mask the smell a bit. I have no idea, but uh, it's better than nothing, guys. I'm, I'm at my wit's end here.